Good morning, dear students. I am Ranjit, talking about mathematics in 8th standard. And now we are in a special situation. So we have learned mathematics through video classes. Our first chapter is equal triangles. You have already heard about triangles and learned about triangles. What are triangles? How to make a triangle? And what is a triangle? A triangle is a figure or a minimum polygon made up of three straight edges. The triangle has only straight edges? No, it has three angles also. And we can consider the triangle or we can classify a triangle on the basis of sides and angles. You all know the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Now consider the classification on the basis of sides. In a triangle, if all sides are of different measures, the length of sides are different, we call it as scalene triangle. And in a triangle, if two sides are equal, we call it as isosceles triangle. And the third one is all sides are equal. That is all sides of a triangle are equal. We call it as equilateral triangle. This is the classification based on the lengths of sides. Now another classification is there. It is based on the angles. We know that a triangle has three angles and some of these three angles is 180 degree. If all angles, all the three angles of a triangle is less than 90 degree, the name is acute angle triangle. And the angle is, the one angle of a triangle is 90 degree, it is called right triangle. And the third one, if one angle of a triangle is greater than 90 degree. Why it is saying only one angle is greater than 90 degree? Because we all know the sum is 180 degree. So it is only possible the one the maximum degree of one angle should be 190 degree. So if one angle of a triangle is greater than 90 degree and the triangle is called obtuse angle triangle. This is the classification of triangles. Now we are discussing about equal triangles. Equal triangles. What is the word meaning equal? Can you identify two equal objects? How you identify two equal objects? You identify these two in the, on the basis of its characteristics and its looking. At first sight, we can say that two objects are identical. If we saw so, a twin brothers, we can say that they are identical, no difference is there. But somewhere and somehow their character, uh, characters must, should be different. So we can't say they are equal. Since the creation is unique, we can't see anywhere in the creation an imitation. So we can't say in, a, in the creation there is an identical or equal objects. But in the case of geometry or mathematics, we are trying to identify the figures, they are equal. Mm. Consider these two notebooks. At first sight, they are, we can say that these two notebooks are equal because their sizes are equal, height is equal, width is equal and cover page is also equal. Let us overlapping these two notebooks. They are exactly overlapping. So we can say that these two notebooks are equal. That's the way we are finding two equal objects or equal things. Now, can now take these two triangles. Can we say these two triangles are equal or not? I am just overlapping these two triangles. Is they are equal? Can we say these two triangles are equal? In any position, they are not exactly overlapping. So we can say that these triangles are not equal. 
that means somehow their sides or angles are not equal so this is the way we are finding the simplest way for checking the equality of figures now i am drawing two circles with same radius and taking the cutouts and checking that they are equal or not i am drawing 10 cm radius circles and you can see these two uh, circles just overlapping you can find that they are exactly overlapping so we can say that these two circles are equal so if the two figures are equal we can see that they are exactly overlapping in seventh standard you have learned about the construction of a triangle which measures are required to construct a triangle we have three different methods for constructing a triangle first one is when three sides the lengths of three sides of a triangle is given we can construct a triangle and second one is two sides and the angle between them is given we can construct a triangle and third one one side that is length of one side and the angle at its ends are given we can construct a triangle this is a three methods for constructing a triangle so we are constructing equal triangles using the first method that is the measure of lengths of three sides of a triangle are given we are constructing two different triangles that is we have triangles abc and pqr with sides 4 cm 5 cm and 7 cm we are constructing these triangles in a paper and taking their cutouts now we have triangles abc and pqr you can see their cutouts now we are overlapping these two triangles is they are exactly overlapping in this way no and i am changing again no again changing we can see that they are exactly overlapping so we can say that these two triangles are equal which method we are constructing these two triangles we, have, we take the sides of triangles equal and we got the angles of the triangle are also equal we take the sides of two triangles equal and we got the angles are also equal you can see the angles are equal which angles are equal you can see r and angle b are equal that is a and angle p are equal also q and angle c are equal the first method of construction that is two three sides of a triangle are equal then the triangles are equal also their angles are equal so our triangles are triangle abc and triangle pqr sides are 4 5 and 7 centimeters of both triangles now we have side ab equal to pr BC equal to QR and AC equal to PQ. Now, what about the angles we got? We got the equal angles as angle A equal to P, angle B equal to R and angle C equal to Q. Now, let us find which angles are equal. If there is any Speciality that is the angle should be equal. Angle A is opposite to 5 cm or side BC and it is equal to angle P and angle P is opposite to 
सेम फाइव सेंटीमीटर और साइड क्यू आर नाउ एंगल सी इज ऑपोजिट टू फोर सेंटीमीटर और साइड ए बी एंड एंगल क्यू इज ऑपोजिट टू फोर सेम फोर सेंटीमीटर और साइड पी आर द थर्ड साइड एंगल बी इज ऑपोजिट टू ए सी और सेवन सेंटीमीटर एंड बी इक्वल टू आर आर इज ऑपोजिट टू सेम सेवन सेंटीमीटर सो वाट वी कैन कंक्लूड फ्रॉम दिस वाट इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी कैन सी दैट द एंगल्स ऑपोजिट टू ईक्वल साइड्स आर ईक्वल वी हैव कंस्ट्रक्टेड टू ट्राइंगल्स विथ सेम साइड्स then we can find the angles of these triangles are also equal and which angles are equal the angles opposite to equal sides are equal that is our first result in the below triangles find the equal pairs of angles consider the triangles abc and pqr in these two triangles we can see that the pairs of sides are equal and we have to find the equal angles since we know that when we draw triangles with three sides are equal the angles opposite to equal sides are equal so ac equal to qr gives angle b equal to angle p because angle b is opposite to ac and angle p is opposite to qr similarly ab equal to pr then angle c equal to q also bc equal to pq angle a is opposite to bc and angle r is opposite to pq so angle a equal to angle r in this case we have two triangles klm and pqr both have equal pairs of sides so we want to find equal pairs of angles and we know that the angles opposite to equal sides are equal when the triangles are drawn with equal pairs of sides now let us see which angles are equal here side k l equal to pr then angle m equal to q since km equal to pq angle l equal to r and lm equal to qr so angle k equal to angle p